Bosch just released the new software update. It's uh, basically most known for bringing 60 newton meters and increased power amplification to the Bosch SX motor, the SL lighter motor. To install this update, you need to update the Bosch eBike Flow app. You need version 1.30 point something. So go to your app store, Google Play store. Currently 7th of October, it's only available for iPhone, but it should be available for Android in a couple of days, hopefully. It's not just the increased power that is new, but it's sort of the headline news. Other than that, there are some options for navigating, following your route on various Bosch displays. And also it will support e-shift. That's like uh, automatic shifting from Shimano and so on. So that's a nice update too. Anyway, we update the eBike Flow app or install it on your phone for the first time, if that's the case. Hopefully we won't have any issues with this update. I know some people were struggling with the previous update. A lot of people had to like install the update twice. It turns out the first update that was launched had an error. So Bosch removed it and they uploaded a new one. And that's why people sort of thought they had to install it twice. Anyway, they sort of promise this won't happen again. And it's looking good so far. You need a user, create a user and log on. And on the first screen you see after logging into the app, there should be an option to update the software. If you can't find that, select the menu on top, the cogwheel thing, and make sure all the components of the e-bike system is updated. If you can't find that option, chances are you will have to register your e-bike before you're able to do this update. So when all that is covered, going back to the front main screen, you will have the option to download an update. So we need the latest version of the app just to access the actual software update. So go ahead, download and install. And yeah, there are some LED bar indications on this, uh, on this bike. Uh, indicating progress, but it all works fine. And that's it. Now the bike is rebooting and we are able to tweak the settings. So now we can choose 60 newton meters, but what about the power amplification? That's how much power the motor will output when you're pedaling. So if you're pedaling 100 watts, with 400% amplification, the motor should contribute with 400 watts rather than 340 watts, which the previous software were doing. But you have to alter this assistance setting to get the full amplification. Bumping it to plus 5 will give you 400%. Leaving it at 0 will give you 340% amplification, which, will, which is basically the same as the old motor even in the zero setting. And if you go down to minus five, you will get 240% amplification. That's in turbo mode, in to be plus mode, in to be mode and sprint mode. So the 400% amplification is not available in the tour, tour plus eco, but it is available in the auto mode too. So that's it, more power, more amplification and not really a lot of hassle. That's it. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Thanks for watching.